Hello guys, this is Shumi. So welcome to my channel. So right now I am in one of my client's facility. Now uh, I'm coming in to tune in one of the uh, crystal reactor. So today I'm going to show you how to make CBD isolates from desolates. Okay, so right in front of me is one of the uh, glass reactor that, that they purchased, my client purchased. So it is a uh, 50 liters um, glass filter reactor that's what we call uh, you can call it filter reactor or you can call it crystallizer uh, either name so it looks like um, re regular reactor but the only difference is, is you see the bottom right here the white bottom the difference is, is for reactor you don't have this type of uh, white bottom so this is the difference this is actually a filter or we, we can also call it a Nash filter uh, in the industry so the theory of how to work is uh, first we um, fill up this tank, this 50 liter tank with our CBD distillates and some kind of uh, organic solvents. So in this case, for making CBD isolates, we are using the painting as a solvent. So we are using a ratio to um, two parts of painting and one part of distillates. And uh, on the right side, the round bowl is actually uh, recover system so because the painting is explosive so we cannot let the painting to just dissolve into the atmosphere so we are actually using the right uh, glass for uh, condensing the painting vapor so this is how the equipment looks like once we hook up all the uh, parts and tubing so we have two supporting units on the left this is a temperature control unit it can go to a uh, high temperature or low temperature, uh, high to 100 degrees Celsius, low to negative 40. So this is uh, control the jacket of our reactor. We actually currently are running some uh, CBD solution with painting right now. And also on the right side, um, this is uh, just a chiller. So this chiller will make sure that um, all the painting vapor that evaporate from this chamber are going to be catch and condense into this receiver. So this is very important. We do not want any painting to escape into the atmosphere. The fire department would not like it. And this is a good way and a safe way to do it. So let's go to the back and check out the solution inside of the tank. Uh, remember the the jacket right now because of the coolant we use is tourism, so it's kind of in green. So this part, the lower part, actually show the true color of our mixture. So we have painting and uh, CBD distillates. The yellow color is from the CBD distillates. The painting has uh, no color at all. So right now we are about um, 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, we started at room temperature, which, which is about 25 degrees Celsius. So we are lowering down right now. We are stepping down. Uh, 10 degree in increments. So right now it's about 20 degrees Celsius and we can use a flashlight to take a look at um, to monitor the status of our solution because once we are lowering the temperature, we are going to see crystal. So this is the CBD distillate that we use, um, the starting material. So as we can see, you know, the CBD, they will um, crystallize themselves at the room temperature if you put it there for long enough. But we do not want CBD to crystallize themselves because uh, when the CBD crystallize without the aggregation or without the, uh, the solvent, they tend to, con they tend to um, host all those impurity and all those other and uh, the smell into the crystal so if you let the cbd crystal themselves then you are end up with a low purity cbd with a large amount of uh, impurities in such as tac and other stuff uh, we are using this chamber to control um, the cbd temperature um, lower and lower so right now um, take a look at the chamber the temperature is lowered down to uh, about uh, negative 10 degree so it is much much more cloudy than as we can see from the 20 degrees celsius so there are small amount of crystal that are coming out so see the crowdedness of our solution so this is only negative 10 so once we go lower and lower we will see more and more solutions uh crystals are coming out so let's take a look from the top so this is about negative 20 degrees Celsius. Um, we can see the solution is actually the painting is floating uh, on the top and the CBD 
uh, CBD isolates is actually on the bottom. So they are separating right now. So after we reach um, negative 30 degrees Celsius, we can start draining the excess painting out of the, uh, the chamber. We are opening the valve on the bottom and let the gravity to drip out, to let the painting drip out. Also, we apply some vacuum on the other side of the, uh, actually on the top of the condenser to pull the painting out of the chamber as well. So gravity and vacuum, they will do the job together. So this is uh, what we call the mother liquids. So because we have a filter on the bottom, so everything that is larger in diameter, such as crystal, they will not be drained out of the system. Only the mother liquids, the one that carry the, the excess painting, the color and the odor will all be drained through this filter plates. So this is the mother liquid on the left. And let's go on the top and take a look at the, uh, the isolates. So right here, we have the pure white isolates. So there's something that we could do is actually we could add more painting into the system and kind of wash it. But uh, in my case, the isolates coming out pretty sweet. So we we can we can wash one time, two times or three times, depending on the, the actual needs. So in our case, we we wash one time. So after washing for one times, we are removing the plates. So this is what we call a filter plate, as I introduced a uh, minutes ago. So you feel like it's solid, but it's not the pores on the uh, plates is actually very small. So this is the wheel of what's inside. And uh, let's take a look at the CBD isolate that we make ourselves. So this is the uh, CBD isolates. So it's uh, like a powder and uh, there's no odor in it. It's a super fine powder. So the CBD um, per potency of this isolate is tested 99.6%. So it's super pure after just one wash and uh, we have the outcome like this.